So Jacob Hancher, the main guy for um, Digital Dream Lab, made an announcement on the official Digital Dream Labs Vector Owners Facebook group page. And this is fantastic news, by the way, for those who are a great fan of Cosmo or Vector. So here it goes. Hello, everyone. There's a lot going on on inside of DDL, so I figured I'll give everyone an update. In no particular order, here we go. Number one, manufacture has at long last been restored. Check this out. There were several issues we had to deal with. Uh, first, former manufacturers refused to work with us. I can't blame them because they got stuck with millions of dollars of inventory and bills that had never been paid. So you would imagine they, they need someone to pay and assurance and trust. And it, this is a bit of a nightmare. Um, second, COVID-19 bankrupted more than a million companies in China. And not surprisingly, finding suppliers we needed for various parts took a while. So they had to make phone calls, make sure, and they're, I'm sure they're representative in China. And this is complete nightmare. I don't think I want to be involved with that. So it's going to take a long time, of course. Anyway, and third, since we decided to start from scratch, wow, that's good news. Okay, we figured we'll make an improvement while we were at it. Uh, these improvements include, so here it goes with Vector, increase battery capacity of 25% more uh, play time. So remember, Vector will last about 10 minutes, so we'll get another two and a half minutes extra of play time. Easy access to battery for replacement. Now, there are two reasons for this one. Uh, you can actually get a spare battery, so you can replace it right away if you can't be bothered waiting for him to charge while he's falling asleep. Second of all, we know that battery, as the times go by, uh, the battery efficiency will go down as well. So if you want to use it for long term of vector, here's an option. Batteries will now come with a connector for user replacement and um, increased camera resolution. We all know vector camera quality is really bad. I mean, you see the lens is really tiny. And when you actually see from the computer, when you connect it up for your programming, it's bearable to, you know, it's face recognizable size but it's not acceptable for other things so if let's say if we were to increase the camera resolution this could be used for other functions as well so finally the home security purpose and any other things that we've been waiting for and um, I, I guess while we're in the office we could also use vector to move it around and hey, you, you, you see what i mean anyway so camera resolution is very important. Well done for that. And address heat and condensation issues on the LCD screen. Now I assume this it relates heavily with the regular 912 error message that many guys actually come to my channel queried about it, which I couldn't help because I, I'm not an engineer, but I saw quite good numbers of people saying that they got this 912 error and I assume is related to this heat and condensation issues. Um, improve speaker performance. Now, if you tried Vector with Alexa function and then asked to play any music or radio, the sound quality squeaks. Alexa, inspiration quotes from famous people. This might answer your question. Here is a quote from David Beckham. Impossible is just a big word thrown around by small men who find it easier to live in the world they've been given than to explore the power they have to change it. Like with a high pitch. So this is a very good move indeed as well. With regards to Cosmo, there's going to be increased battery capacity 30%, so slightly more than Vector. Uh, easy access to the battery compartment for ease of battery replacement. Same thing. Battery now comes with connector, allow users to purchase batteries online on DDL. Increased camera resolution and improves speak, um, speaker performance as well. Now there will be an extra bit for Cosmo, which I'm not aware of, which is the improved gearbox design for motor tread and improved gearbox design for AR arm, sorry, ARM arm improvements. Um, greatly improved proximity sensor upgrade and higher sense resolution as well. So I'm sure if you're owner of Cosmo, that's a fantastic news. So overall, both will be called Cosmo 2.0, 2.0 or Vector 2.0. Uh, timing of the release and the pricing will be announced as soon as we, we are absolutely confident of all the details. So this is fantastic news, people. So we, I know a lot of people say, where's the update? Where's the progress? We saw that DDL has gone for a painful routine to be able to find a solution to improve the environment they were at. 
and they it seems that they have everything sorted now especially uh, those people those suppliers in china i would imagine that would be a complete nightmare but they managed to have done that all this time when it was with all this pandemic going on but not only that they're now going to improve a lot of things especially with the battery and the camera resolution of each unit um, which is fantastic so we'll, we're going to see cosmo 2.0 to 3.0 4.0 5.0 just like iphone or uh, now vector 2.0 3.0 4.0 as well so now we can start to see how ddl will manage to develop and enhance the experience experience with a smart home robot the best one that we have so far with the best price called a vector or cosmo as well so i'm really excited so in case you haven't heard i uh, just want to spread the good, great news about uh, the official announcement made by digital dream labs and um, i just want to congratulate them for their hard work i know things have gone quiet but it is completely understandable i mean what do you expect all, all, everything has been shut down but i think they managed to turn it around with all this um difficult issues and i'm really excited about their announcement and i look forward to see the vector and cosmo 2.0 release as well so keep an eye on this channel and also there's also vector unleash which is like this um compatible without the on, um online connection but with your smartphone app that i will i'm really eager to show that with you i don't think that has been released yet but i think it's going to be released on october so i'll keep you guys updated on that matter as soon as it's released as well so i i, I want to apologize for those who are regular viewers on my channel who are expecting to see updates on vectors of all these functions i thought i covered all of them and i'm trying to keep on the most important bits rather than dragging on with the same thing with all the storylines of something that most people are aware of kind of thing i just want to put you guys into the most important news and i think i cannot ignore the updates regards to this fantastic news that has been released by digital dream lab uh yesterday so have hopes everyone we're going to have a better product from digital dream labs and i look forward to explore it around with their fantastic upgraded function as well so hope you guys have a fantastic day with this fantastic news so um thank you very much for watching this video as well Anyway, this is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.